somewhere in a small conversation about fucking working a public job. Like, so, what what's the shittiest customer, Alan, you've ever dealt with? Like, working in a public job. Mm, probably one that I dealt with at Little Caesars. Some fat bitch placed an order for an ultimate supreme pizza or whatever. Yeah. And isn't that, isn't, um, like, uh, that your only public job? Pretty much. That job's also the reason why I will never work a public job again. It tricked you. Yep. What's that guy? But no, like, I was working the register that day, and uh, I'd put the order back there to the cooks to make mm -hmm. it. And they forgot to make it. So I'm trying to explain to her what happened, and she's just like no I don't want to hear this I just want my money back I'm gonna go somewhere else blah 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 being being a complete bitch yeah even though it was not necessary and I'm sitting there trying to apologize to her oh yeah we like fucking I hate those customers and I'm just oh no dude like the last time she snapped at me I just looked at her and was like alright you know what you fat bitch go ahead and take your fucking business somewhere else because, quite frankly, I'm sick of dealing with your fat ass. I, I hate those customers that get pissed off, even though you do whatever you can to help. You know? Yeah. Like, those are the customers that irritate the shit out of me. Dude, I looked at her. I straight looked at her and was like, what does a fat ass like you need a supreme pizza for? You're not on a diet. <laughs> it's like... You don't look I like you, you on no to, diet. Uh, chill out on them supremes lady. Yeah, I looked at her and was like, bitch, you ain't on no diet. Don't even come in here and try to sell me that shit. I had a customer the other day. It was fucking retarded. So I work a public job right now. And it, like, if you've never worked a public job, good on you. But at the same time, like, it's a good experience. But it's still, like, it's still bullshit. Yeah, it's good experience for telling people to fuck off. Yeah, it's it. Public jobs are bullshit. All right, so I have something for the escape pods, but like, um, so I had this customer the other, uh, what was it? The other was it the other day? I can't remember, but it was stupid because she got pissed off over like what was it it was about balloons it was something to do with balloons and it was super dumb like there was no sense in her getting like super pissed off about it yeah and like people don't realize working at a public job like it does suck like it sucks dick to some of us like if you've never worked a public the way we put it at work, if you've never worked in retail, you should never go work, like, shop somewhere that's retail. Like, I've never worked fast food, but, like, I do have respect to people that work fast food, you know? Yeah. But there is a point where it's like, <clears throat> how in the fuck do you keep messing this up? Like, Ah. Oh, something see me. What does something see me? What? Uh. What? Alrighty then. All right, so we gotta we gotta reload prey. This is bullshit. But anyways, like, oh, I remember. It was a it was a dude. Well, they got pissed off because, okay, so here's what happened. The c customer came in and placed their order for their balloons. Well, instead of it being blown up, like, let's say their order was this week, all right? Well, somebody blew it up last week for the customer. And they called the next day and was like, hey, your balloons are here, and blah, blah, blah. And they were like, well, those were supposed to be blown up next week. I'm like, okay. Well, like, I didn't say that. Whoever did said that. Well, then they... 
fixed it and put it back in the box and everything. And then they didn't put a time and fucking date on it. So when the customer came in to pick them up, they weren't fucking blown up yet. <clears throat> and through a big ass scene, it was this dude. And I don't hate on gay people. This guy was gay. And everybody's gonna be like, oh, how do you know he was gay? Because his fucking boyfriend called like five minutes after he left the store cursing me out trying to get my job like trying to get me fired because his balloons weren't done the moment he walked in the door oh that's bullshit i'm like what the fuck dude like i got your balloons to you you were only standing in here like five minutes when you came in we're like hey um my like you were already pissed off and then i was like all right we'll get this resolved i stopped doing everything else i was doing and filled his balloons up real quick just to get him out of the store but he still got pissed off at me about it it's like, if, if you work in retail or in any public job, let us know, like, your worst experience working in, like, a retail job. Because, like, I don't know. Th there's a lot of bad experiences. But, oh, there was one that takes the cake. Um, oh, fuck, I'm back here. Uh, this lady came in, right? And it was closing time. Like, we were pretty much closed. So, you know how it is, when somebody comes in and you're fucking closed up, or about to be closed up, you don't give a shit. Like, Alan, tell me, do you give a shit when people come in last second? Nope. Exactly. Nobody, nobody that works in any restaurant, or anywhere in general... What the fuck? The fuck? Gives a shit. Like, honestly. Nobody cares about it. Oh. One, three, two, eight. They do not care about your order whatsoever. Or what you're wanting, or what you need, or yada, yada, yada. They, we, we, I'm going to be honest. When you work in retail and someone comes in last freaking minute, nobody cares. Like, honestly, no. Body cares. Oh shit, I just found three neuro bombs, Alan. Fuck yeah. Alan's on his phone, everybody. He's being a dick. He's ignoring everyone. He's playing on his phone like an asshole. I'm sorry. He's playing a game on his phone. What are you playing? Summoner's War. How's that going for you? It's going good. Oh? Like, what are you doing? There's a lot of shit going on in here. Let's not go in there. Let's go around. Dude asking me to go in depth on Summoner's War is like asking somebody to go in the full depth on the Elder Scrolls Online. How did you get corrupt? I just fixed you. Okay. That was not cool. That was not cool, Mr. Shocky Shock. Mr. Shocky Shock, that was not cool. Holy shit, that was not cool at all. What an asshole. He just whipped out his shocky tentacle things and just tried to go to town on my ass. <laughs> Alan? <laughs> like, holy fuck. Sounds about right. Alright. Alright, so he's good. You're good. We're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Alright, you're good. We're good. No, I feel like we need to backtrack and do some stuff we haven't done yet. <laughs> that we're still trying to do. And then when we get more missions, we'll make our way here. So we'll do that. But like, I don't know. How was is, how is working at Little Caesars for you? Because you worked in a restaurant. It's different than working in a fucking... It was bullshit. I will never go back. Yeah, it's, it's different. For you than it was your experience working at Little Caesars was by far different than my experience working for the place I work for. I don't have a key card yet. Oh, what's in there? There's a safe. But. Not everybody's experience in any retail job is going to be... Some people like retail. 
Or some people like public jobs or restaurants or anything like that. I fucking hate it. I hate working for a public job. I do too. Just because of all the BS you have to deal with. And this not just from the customers. You also catch flack from your higher ups. Yeah, all like shit rolls downhill. Like no matter what. Yeah, like you're going to catch flack from the higher ups no matter what you do to try and do your job correctly or you're going to catch flack from your co-workers because when you start trying to do your job correctly everybody mm-hmm. thinks you're a kiss ass yeah it's like no i'm here to do my job if you want to know like of like, course if i go into a job of course mm-hmm. i'm going to do my best at first because i want to see if i can rise up through yeah through like, the company but yeah. it's like <clears throat> like what what but after so long, if I'm not moving up, then no, I'm not going to... Yeah, especially if people are moving up and, around you. Yeah. yeah. Especially, like, if you've been there longer than somebody else, mm-hmm. and they just fucking brown nose the boss, mm-hmm. and then they end up being the one that's moved up. That actually yeah. happened to me at Little Caesars. Yeah, that happened. It was bullshit, and I got screwed yeah. out of the day shift manager position. That's, that's happened to me a couple times at where I work, because I've worked there, like, two years. And before I got moved up to the position I'm at now... They straight up. That was creepy. They straight up what? They like, they moved somebody up to the position first. And that's when I went and worked with you at Macy's for a little bit. And. <clears throat> or when I went. Was it Macy's? We, we worked at a warehouse together. We've worked at two warehouses together. We've worked at Peyton's and we've worked at Macy's. Right. Um, where am I going? Then there was New Mather Metals. But that was yeah. a factory job. Yep, yep, yep. Where am I going? Dude, Purple. you know you know what I love? Or you know what I really have like a love hate relationship kind of deal with? What? How everybody associates fat like warehouse work as being the same as factory work. It is not the same. It is not the same. Like, go work in a factory for a few months, then go work in a warehouse for a few months. Sure, you might get put using equipment. Like, uh, you might be on put on using equipment on both is, jobs, but yeah, the jobs is, are entirely different. It is a completely different, like, spectrum. Like, 100%. It is a whole different ball game. Yeah, like factories, you're creating, mm-hmm. like you're you're making things that that distributor wants you to make so it can be sold <clears throat> right to other companies. A warehouse, you're pretty much putting inventory into stock so it can e- be shipped out to like a brick and mortar store or mm-hmm. if it's like Macy's where it's a D2C direct yeah. to customer. Or, like, if you work for Amazon or something like that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> like, the jobs are not the same. No. And some some warehouses are easier than factories, and some factories are easier than warehouses. Yeah. It just depends on, like, where the fuck you work. Well, it depends really more on, like, uh, what department you end up in. Or yeah, like, true. Yeah. Like, the, <laughs> job, the jobs pretty much just are not the same. I'd, I'd hate working in a dildo factory. Oh, God. As much fun as I would have there, because, like, fucking with people, but, like, <laughs> just the fact I'm making dicks. Like, I, I would, I would dicks. get, I would get <clears throat> fired on the first day, because mm-hmm. I would, I would straight up be that smart ass that makes, like, mm-hmm. puts my own dick in the, one of the molds, yep. and just makes. You know, you can actually do that now. Yeah. I can do that. Why is my screen I would, I would be that asshole, though, that just, like, makes a, uh makes like a full thing of like his own dick and then I'd be that asshole that turns right around and slaps one of my co-workers if not my boss with it be like you just got why does that plant move every fucking time I walk out here please tell me I'm not the only one that notices that I don't know but we're going down to the cruise quarters guys I was about to say where the hell are we supposed to go How did this person have stuff? I've already gotten the stuff from her. Ooh, wait, is the nightmare in there? It shouldn't be. I mean, remember, it respawns. 
But we'll find out next time on the Trolls, guys. Yeah, but... It's fucking bullshit.